Good morning from our melting pot hostel here in El Nido. Today I am doing a island hopping tour, which is the main reason that people come to El Nido. It's a big tourist attraction here. It's an uh, archipelago, but I don't really know what that means. I think it just means loads of tiny islands, but maybe if I Google it, I'll find out. So there's four or five different tours, A, B, C, D, A and C, Z, all kinds of stuff. A is good for kayaking, B I'm told is boring, C is good for snorkeling and D I'm told is boring. So I went with C because I'm a mermaid and snorkeling and scuba diving is my life. So I'm really excited to do that. I paid 1,400 and I'm supposed to be getting picked up at 8.30 which is in about 10 minutes but we are always running on Filipino time so God knows when I'll actually get picked up. If it fits I shall go to the ball or whatever it is. <laughs> Thank you for your help, charming prince. Today I've decided to be extra sensible. I have got myself some aqua shoes because the amount of times I've cut my feet open is ridiculous. It's only 100 pesos, so hopefully now I'm going to have protective feet. <laughs> We have arrived at our first stop, which is Helicopter Island. We're gonna be here for 35 minutes, and it's a good snorkeling spot. So I'm gonna get my mask and snorkel and get the GoPro out. Side note, look how clear this water is. It is so blue, you can see right to the bottom, it's insane. Now we're heading to another one called Hidden Beach, which is apparently better for taking photos than it is for snorkeling. 35 minutes away on the boat. We arrived at our second stop. Looks pretty damn beautiful, the nice rock york formations and again crystal clear water. But for a hidden beach, it's pretty damn busy. There's about and there's six to ten other boats here. So it's not very hidden quite clearly. third stop of the day and this is where we will be having lunch. Lunch with a view, to say the least. It's very, very beautiful. Don't know if it's going to be vegetarian or not. It's unlikely because it's barbecuing on the boat but maybe be some vegetables if we're lucky. Managed to scramble together a nice lunch with just some veg and fruits and rice. So just enough to keep me sustained. I've also got a sneaky bag of nuts to keep me going on the veggie life. I would love a fresh coconut, please. No, me sir. Just one. It's at 50, right? Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. You can't beat a fresh coconut. Delicious, refreshing, and very rehydrating. Stop number four, the not so top secret secret beach. Fifth and final snorkeling stop for the day. This one is called Matin Lock, where we will be staying for about an hour. All the other stops have been um, a little bit quicker than that, so it's nice to be able to chill out for a little while in this glorious sunshine.
just got back to my hostel after a fab day exploring the islands here in Aonido, Palawan, Island of Sea. I don't know what it is about being a traveller and being on beaches and doing basically fucking nothing all day. I'm exhausted and it's about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So I think I'm going to need a little nap before heading out to maybe, I don't know, have a sunset cocktail or something. Life is truly awful. If you did like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Check out my other social media links down below and I will see you again soon with another vlog. Goodbye.